Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really simple and easy newsletter in Word. Most of the time it's quite challenging to create a newsletter with all the different sections but this technique's really really easy to do. So let's open a new document and let's go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and go down to this rounded edge square and just click and drag out. doesn't matter how big or small it is and what we need to do is there's an outline on this shape we just need to take that off go to shape format go to this icon here and click on the drop down and just select no outline then go to shape fill click on the drop down and then just select any color of your choice if you can't find the color you want go to more fill colors and then you can use the color wheel and the sliders to select your perfect color and the color you choose will appear in this square here and just click OK. So I'm just going to select an orange color and then I'm going to go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Once you've done that, I'm going to make sure this text box is selected. I'm going to press down my command or control key and click on the yellow shape, go to shape format, go to align, click on the drop down, select align to center, again again click on the drop down, align to middle. Now the text box in the center here has a border line and it's clearly got a white background. So we're going to remove both of those. So select it, go to shape format, go to outline and select no outline and shape fill and select no fill. And in here you can just see my cursor at the top here. We're just going to insert some text. I'm just going to paste it in because it's easier. You don't want to see me typing. And then all we're going to do is make sure the box is selected. Hold down the command or control key again and select the yellow shape. Then go up to group and select group. Now what this will enable you to do is to move the shape and move the text box at the same time. The text box will act like a text box if you do squash it the text will disappear but if you do move it left and right the text will move in according to how wide or narrow you want it so the next thing to do is to copy and paste this so we've customized this fully and if you're completely happy with exactly where your words are and your titles so you can see at the moment it's slightly moved so it's not quite in the center so I'm just going to align them again. So once you're perfectly happy, then it's time to go ahead and copy and paste this. Now select it. If you hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag, that's the quickest way to copy and paste anything in Word. So I'm going to deselect that one and then I'm going to reselect this bottom one and I'm just going to change the size of it. Now what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making this look pretty. You will obviously have your own text that you will insert into these selected boxes. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to now copy and paste this one again. And then I'm going to copy, oops, I don't want to. Deselect them, reselect just one, hold down the Alt or Option key, and then go ahead and move it across. Now you can see all three of these are too wide for my page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all and then I'm going to click on one of these boxes and I'm going to move it so they just narrow down those boxes I'm going to move them all over I'll have to make them taller because obviously I'm not going to get all of my text in and then I will change my text accordingly so if you can't get all the text in you need you just simply have to make it smaller so here are all of your three boxes I'm just going to move them all together now you don't have to be super accurate because what I'm going to do now is select them all again, go to shape format, go to align, distribute horizontally. That will mean there's an equal gap between them all and then align, align to top and then you can group them if you want to. But first of all, I'm just going to move them to about here. Now if you find you can't get all of the text in that you want, you just simply have to make the font a little bit smaller. Or you can increase the size of the text box inside the shape if you want to. So I'm now just going to move this text box into alignment. Now at the end we will align all of these together. In the meantime I'm just going to copy and paste this one again. And I'm just going to move it to the top here. And then double click inside the text box, Command or Control A to select everything. 
Then I'm just going to type in newsletter. I'm going to select the text, go to the home tab, go across to increase font size. And then I'm going to ungroup it. So go to shape format, group, ungroup, and then select just the text box. It's going to stretch that out until we get the whole of that word in. And once again, select the shape as well, holding down the command or control key, align, align to center, align, align to middle, and then just group that together. So I'm now going to put a small at the bottom. I'm just going to move this one down a little bit. So we just need a little extra space. I'm going to copy and paste this one and I'm going to copy and paste this one and just select this one and then deselect both of them, reselect this one and just resize it to go in here. I'm just going to double click inside, select all. I'm just going to insert some text, issue 24 forward slash January 2024. And then again, I'm going to have to ungroup this one. Just select the text box inside. Then go ahead and select the outer shape as well. Go to align, align to middle, align, align to center all the other way around. And then what we will do is just grab that text box and move it over to the left so that it all aligns nicely here. And then group them together again. And then I'm just going to reduce the size of it and move it so that it aligns with the other boxes. And then finally copy and paste this one at the bottom. And then here, I'm just simply going to select the text and put in a website. I'm gonna align all this up at the end, just once I've got everything in. And I'm just going to change a few colors. So I'm gonna select this box here, shape format, shape fill. And I'm going to change this one to lilac and the bottom one as well. And then this one here, I'm just going to change to a dark gray. And I'm going to insert an image so go to insert, pictures, you can select yours from the file. I'm going to use stock images. I'm just gonna select this image here and click insert. Now when an image is inserted, it will look very messy, but don't worry, just make sure you keep it selected. Go to wrap text in front of text. We're just gonna reduce the size of it. Now we're gonna reduce the size of it so that it's the same height as this box next to it. Then we're going to move it over and align it to the right here. Then we're going to go to crop. Then we're going to use these markers and just drag this over to crop out part of the image that we don't want. Then we're going to hit the return key, then go to crop again and click on the drop down, go to crop to shape, and you'll find there's a rounded rectangle there. Perfect. So you can see these two elements aren't quite lined up here. So simply click on the image. You can move this over to line up with the one below. Then click on this one and just move it over again to make sure it's completely aligned. So once you're done, you want to go ahead and save this out. You can save it as a PDF file, you can save it as a Word document, or you can save it as a template. The way you can do that is go up to File, Go to Save As. Clearly here, you can save it as your Word document. Or if you click on the drop down, you'll see PDF on that list. And then just click Save. You can also go to File, Save As Template. Make sure you've saved it in the Templates file. And again, down the bottom here as Microsoft Word Template. Once you've done that, you can access it each time you open Word. And then simply click Save. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.